I'm always blown away by the amazing build pictures that my customers send me of their guitars that they built using my templates. I always see things, little details that I might like to use in my own builds. Maybe it'll inspire you too. Let's check out another amazing bunch of guitars made by builders just like you. Callan sent this one with a little note that says, the gentleman in the picture is actually my original guitar teacher, so I wouldn't be doing what I do if it weren't for him. He was ecstatic about it. I'm not surprised he was ecstatic. This thing looks fantastic, Callan. Callan built a really nice 335 here, and I like the way, I can't tell if that's binding or if you've done a faux binding, but it looks really good. I like the color too, the cherry, I think that's cherry. It's almost like a faded cherry that looks really good. And the neck is bound. I'm not sure if you built the neck, but the binding on the neck seems to match the binding on the guitar, which is a really nice touch. That looks great. Oh, he sculpted the heel on the back too. That's very cool. And the skunk stripes in the body look really nice. That's a really cool way to personalize things is to add little touches that aren't obvious at first, but maybe you see them if you flip the guitar over or even if you just know they're there. They make it cooler for you. And here is the happy guitar teacher with his new guitar. That's awesome. What a great way to pay back someone who helped you on your guitar playing journey with the guitar you built for him. That's really cool, Callan. Eddie sends a note here, the drop tops were figured maple on each side with Brazilian rosewood in the middle. He says he's had the rosewood for over 40 years and he's put abalone, oh, abalone in between. That's cool. Oh, this is really nice. The figured maple vaulted and flame, I would guess. And rosewood in the center with the abalone accents is just beautiful. I can't tell for sure, but that might be Jason Schroeder a Schroeder Stoptail Bridge. So this has got a very modern flair to it that I, I really like, but it's also very classy. The clear finish on figured wood is a super classy finish, and the hardware kind of reflects that. I think you paired this really well. This is a really classy build. I like it. Mark sent along a picture of his Jag build. And the thing that I find coolest about this is he's made all the parts. He didn't buy chrome Jaguar plates. He made the control plate pieces out of wood. And in this case, he used black perloid for the pick guard. I think that looks really cool, especially on the pine body. Some people are not keen on pine and they don't like pine with knots, but I think it really suits this build. This looks really, really nice. And here's another Jag, same thing again, except this time he's even made the pick guard out of wood. That is really well done. I think you've done a great job on this. What kind of wood is that top? I don't recognize that. Maybe you'll tell me. Here's a really nice single pickup telly that he's done. I think that's a clear finish on pine that looks really, really sharp. The black pick guard has kind of a P-base feel to it that I like. The single pickup helps with that. All the elements you've chosen here are fantastic. This one I like, this is a weird mashup. It's a Strat basically built into a Tele body, which has been a popular model with some of my customers. And I think this might be, boy, I wanna say some sort of olive wood on the top. I feel like it's rosewood of some kind, but it really looks very nice next to the tortoise shell pick guard. Again, this is another really well done Tele Strat, Strat Tele mashup. Matt says, my friend and I made this double cut and I'm actually working on another one. Well, of course you are, Matt. It never ends. You just keep working on another one and another one and another one. I like that you were working on it with a buddy though. If you can find like a woodworking club, that's great. But if you've got a buddy who also builds guitars and you can get together and work on your builds together, that's awesome. And this guitar is awesome. I have a soft spot for double cut juniors. I usually make juniors, single pickups. You've made a special, but you've hit on one of my favorite things here. You've, you've got the body painted white, but you left 
the back of the neck natural. So we see the mahogany and you even made a three piece neck with, I'm assuming that's a maple stringer in the center, which is not only structurally smart, but the fact that you're not afraid to deviate from an exact vintage replica. It's pretty freeing not to have to follow the rules. I do follow the rules on a lot of my builds because they're very vintage inspired, but I also like to change them up for no good reason, just because it sort of tickles my brain. This tickles my brain. I've never built a white guitar, but this looks fantastic. Fantastic. I really like this. You guys did a great job. first build that Nathan sent along here is a nice little Mustang. I've become quite a fan of the Mustang. I don't know why it is. I think I like short scale guitars, but this shape just seems super attractive to me. It's comfortable. I think it was a student model when they first designed it. I think it's just a great guitar model. And I think you've done a great job with it here. The natural finish and I think the grain is showing and that might be mahogany. I'm not sure. You'll have to tell me. But the tortoise pick guard and the two singles, although those are rails. Are they still singles? I'm not sure. You'll have to tell me that too. But this is a really nice build. It's like a stripped down, it's only got what you need, which to me is the essence of a Mustang. It's what I love about a Mustang. So this is a really nice build. Nathan sends along a note here. The telly is his tribute to Coco Bolo. The core of the guitar is Swamp Ash, but the top, back, neck, and fretboard are all Coco Bolo. Well, it, it looks great. So Coco Bolo telly on steroids, the fretboard, the front, the back, it looks fantastic. And the, the color of the Coco Bolo against what I assume is cream binding looks fantastic. This is a really, really sharp build that looks I think that looks like a hip shot bridge. It's got a modern but super tasteful style to it that I quite like. I'm sure anyone would be really happy to own this. I'm guessing that you didn't keep this, Nathan, but you tell me if I'm wrong. The Parlor Single Cut is one of his favorite builds. Get ready for this list. The body is 10,000 year old Cowrie. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. The top is 2,000 year old Bog Oak. The neck is Swamp Ash. The fretboard is Brazilian Rosewood. And the inlays are fossilized pieces of woolly mammoth tusk. Well, clearly we're not gonna find this guitar just everywhere. That That's fantastic, Nathan. This parlor is great. There's so many things that I love here. I like that you chose not to use a neck pickup. I like the reveal of the end of the neck beyond the fretboard. And if I'm not mistaken, that's one of Jason Schroeder's stop tail bridges, which just looks absolutely at home on this body shape. It looks great. And those knobs, I'm not sure, they're not cupcake knobs, but they remind me of them for some reason. It might be just the color, but that looks fantastic. So Paul has what looks like a flock of twisters here in his shop. And a side note, if you're wondering where the name Twister for this template set came from, let's say there was a guitar called a Toronado that almost everyone I met mistakenly called a Tornado and another name for a Tornado. Anyway, I see four twisters here of all different flavors. And the one that caught my eye is the one on the left here, which had a really unique finish on it. And I asked Paul what was happening there. And he told me that it's an old flannel shirt that he did a fabric finish with. And I've seen lots of fabric finishes, but this one hits me where I live because it's, first of all, it's flannel, so hashtag Canada, but it also, it has a great worn look. Like it looks fantastic. That looks really, really nice. And then the middle one, I really like the pick guard on this one. I hate to compare uh, guitars to other guitar models because it sort of takes away from their uniqueness, but this one has a nod to like a Silvertone or a Tysco catalog era guitars that I absolutely love. And I think it, it suits this guitar really well. These are really, really well done. If any of the amazing guitars featured in this video caught your eye, I know the builders would appreciate it if you'd leave a quick comment and let them know how much you like their work. And in the meantime, check out this video for even more guitar building ideas.